Good afternoon, everybody. Today I'm working with my crystal grids, blessing my items, using cedar all over my table to cleanse it, sweet grass, regular sage. I have my plants around, my tarot cards. So today I will be working on a couple of spirit sessions for private uh, readings. And then I will get into um, other videos about um, about mental illness and being gifted and things of that nature. So this is just a quick little sneak peek. Okay, everybody have a wonderful day. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, the video I'm going to be doing right as of this afternoon is, as I spoke of in my little sneak peek there, it's going to be about my crystal gridding and what crystals that I use to help balance me and why I use them. Um, I'm going to be talking about why the use of crystals is in my methods of my mediumship as well. Um, so for me, I use them because I vibrate with them on a higher level and they help me balance, they help me meditate, they help me bring myself back down to calmness. Um, they help me in my dream state and my psychic workings. They also help me in protection and in guidance. So I will start off with just one of them that I use. Oh, the crystals are dropping over here. This little piece right here is actually a glass. Um, a glass. Oh, I got a message that popped over the top of my phone, so. This is a glass-like, um, it's a glass-like rock. It's actually dried, cooled, volcanic um, lava. It is used in um, protection. Um, it resonates with us deeply and emotionally, which it makes it a much more powerful, powerful stone. Um, well, glass-like uh rock um it's very combative with negative negative energy and it, it has protection properties um it helps in eating um truthfulness and um healing as well so i have you know a couple in each of my windowsills um laying around i have them in my my bookshelves or on my headboard or to my bed. Um, they're very energetically wise in um, working with you know, the flow of your the flow of your energies, your chakras. They really work really well with your chakras. Um, another one I use. Could I, which one? Can, what's my favorite piece to use? Well, here's just a little crystal. You know, this is clear quartz. This is a very versatile stone, very versatile. Um, it, see I have all different shapes and sizes. Um, they go from big to small, any shape, any size, you know. Just very different, very different in sizing. You can, I even have a tiny one here tiny tiny um i have to realign i had crystal grid set up put these back down okay so this stone is very good it's a stone it's a crystal we there's a lot of combativeness up on what you should call it but i call it a crystal i call it a stone um this um is very good with connection to the other realms it's good in healing it balances all of your chakras. It's very um, good at opening your crown chakra and your third eye chakra. Um, it amplifies energy. It also grounds the energy as well. So you can put energy into this. You can bury it into the ground for three days and the earth will remagnify it with its regular vibrational sense. good pieces I have here of smoky quartz. 
This is a smoky quartz. Okay. This is another good piece. This is a this is a citrine smoky quartz. This is a smoky quartz. Very good piece. Um, I believe this was a smoky quartz. This is smoky quartz. Okay. They come in all different shapes and sizes as well as they all do. And also they come in different shades of color too. Okay. I like to try to set them up so you can see them, but some of them are just too small. Um, this stone, you know, it's... This is a very go-to for, for clairvoyants in mediums because it literally helps protect them in psychic attacks. It helps ground their energy. It helps literally heal chakras. It's good for, you just name it, it's just good for, you know, the abilities. It helps in psychic dreamings. It's it's very, very, very well. It's very good. It's very, it's, it's called the seer, the seer stone. Um, all crystals... You know, there's many different ways that you can cleanse them. The most famous way is through smoke. So I'm going to, I'm going to light my, I'm lighting cedar today. Cedar is a very sacred tree. It is one of the oldest trees known in history. It has actually been around since the dinosaurs and it has not changed. So this is your, the way you would cleanse a smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is also good for telling your problems to and burying it, or you can put it in a salt bath or smoke and it gets rid of all of your anger, all of your frustrations once you've told your problems to it. I know that sounds kind of funny, but I've actually done this and it's actually worked. I kind of like talk to it like, you know, private, you know, journal. And I use this basically as a, like a journal. I tell all my secrets to it. I tell, you know, all my problems. And I literally just smoke all the problems away. So that's a really good stone or crystal to have. But those are just um, a few of them. I do have... Um, I do have a few of them that, um, I wrote all my stuff down here so I do not forget, um, the Amethyst Clear Quartz, okay, Blue Lace Agate, these are very, very good little guys to have, um, this resonates with your, th your throat chakras, so it helps balance your show your throat chakras and say you know what's blocked so once you're unblocked your throat sh your throat chakras you literally have a more way of communicating your communication you're communicating with others or spirits or anything that you need to do it has very strong metaphysical properties um you know just the color in itself it just brings peace and calmness and relaxation and just overall happiness. Um, it's very soothing and nurturing, just to touch and the to rub. For me, I have very, the ultimate stone that I'm very connected to, I'm very connected to Jade. Jade is my stone that I picked up and it was like, I picked up a piece of me. I'm very, very connected to green energies. I'm very, um, I'm very earth, like I'm very grounded and, um, I'm very earth connected to the earth. I'm very, very connected to the earth. Um, you will find stones and crystals that you automatically connect with just by touching the touch, literally just the touch itself. It really will be like that easy for you. It's just depends on what you are connected with. Sometimes it finds the right, um, the, it finds the right fit. You need to find the right fit for yourself. For me, I am not allowed to touch selenite. Selenite crystal is very, it burns my skin and it, and it gives me body aches and it hurts me. Um, 
I've tried to work with selenite and it's just not a good fit for me. So I do not touch it whatsoever. Um, you know, back to the blue lace agate, it's very, very calming and very, it's, it's healing. It almost gives you that sense of peace when you touch it. Um, it is a micro crystalline. It's, it is a form of quartz. Um, you can use it in love charms. You can use it in good luck charms and peace charms. So these do bring you closer to happiness. It is also said that the stone is connected with Mother Mary. Um, and it's a very good, it's just a very good stone to have on hand. It brings you so much joy and peace. But that is the end of my crystal. Uh, just just a few offhand. Those are very good for mediums and clairvoyants. Uh, and just in that type of work, um, you literally can put together a group of crystals and have them on hand. And it really helps you balance through the day. It really gives you that sense of peace. Like smoky quartz. If you carry a piece through the day, you'll you'll have almost like as if you'll have less worry and you'll feel more bold and you'll feel more protected and you feel you feel less agitated a lot of these stones that i spoke of has um properties of calming anxiety and um just holds holds a lot of um really good properties of healing and i don't mean and i don't mean physically heal illness no what I mean is energetically wise, um, excuse me. It heals you, your energetic energy as in your chakras to balance you so you're less depressed. So you're less emotional, you feel more happiness. You're, you know, you're balanced through the whole, through the whole alignment and so to speak. Um, very, very connected to greens and agates and I'm just I'm actually in like I could hold these and I feel such love and peace and calmness and it just it gives me I'll even place them on my chakras this is your third eye chakra you can place and yes it's good to match you know amethyst with your third eye and your crown chakra and clear quartz for your crown chakra you know your heart chakras you use um you can use uh, rose quartz, and you can use uh, jades for your uh, for your heart chakra. For your um, your root chakras, you can use um, jaspers, and so on. You just match the stones and crystals with the chakras, and you can also use doing that with food, healthy foods. Um, your heart, you would eat broccoli or spinach or kale. Um, your roots you would eat apples and in um anything red deep red uh beets anything healthy like that um just so many different options and so many different ways that you could do it you just have to educate yourself on it and go read up on about it go educate yourself on freaky healing and um balancing your chakras through crystals and all that and oils essential oils and um I use the Tibetan bowl as a meditation, um, as a meditation clearing as well. You clear your chakras through sounds as well, and you can also meditate with the bowl, and it gives you a higher connection to your higher consciousness. that is so peaceful and calming and some people even like me i get um my heart starts to skip a, a beat a little bit and that's because it's actually clearing any stagnant energy away from me that is on me or around me so that's good to move stagnant energy you can also remove stagnant energy also um Stagnant can mean any negative energy that's built up in the house. Say you do a lot of arguing with somebody. Say, you know, you have a lot of hate speeches on TV or just you clappy energy. 
collect energy in the rooms and that helps or you could put salt in all four corners of your rooms salt is a pureness sub substance and it can um deplete negative energy so that really works as well but this is just one of the videos that i wanted to do to help educate people that want to um educate them to learn about uh their gift and how what they can use to help amplify it as well as you know ideas of what you can use too as well um so this is the empathic clairvoyant medium and i just wanted to do this video to you know just do a balance in nature spirit work educational spirit work educational so that's what i'm going to try to do more of um you watch my videos great you know if we're going to be judgmental don't watch my videos because it's not for that purpose yes you could have your opinion but you don't get to disrespect people or you know say rotten or mean things it's just not nice and you're creating your own negativity when you do that you're only bringing negativity back to you so thank you for watching and have a wonderful afternoon